Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, and Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, alongside Princess Eugenie and her husband, Jack Brooksbank, all stepped out for a night out in Montecito. And all of them, just looking at the pictures, they were having an amazing family night out together. Clearly shows the close bond that each and every single one of them have for one another. But unfortunately, if people, some racists, have become upset at seeing Megan. Now, whenever they don't see Megan, they complain. When they see Megan, they complain. And to this I say this, the people who want Megan to hide at a dinner table next to the kitchen instead of a window or want her to leave through the back door like a house slave. These people want to erase her existence. That's what they want, to erase her existence. They want her not to be seen because it crushes their feeling of white supremacy because that's how they feel. Let's face it, that's how they feel. Now, it reminds them that a woman of color rose to the highest institution they hold dear, one where the blood is pure white. That is why they scream privacy. Unfortunately, they don't even understand the meaning and the concept of privacy. Prince Harry and Meghan, they already have a private life. And they also have a public life. This is what they said that they wanted when they left the royal family. The British press, while Prince Harry and Meghan were in the UK, wanted to see her baby the second he was born because they said they paid for her. Only after seeing the baby to abuse the child just two days later. They wanted the details of her home because they paid for it. They bullied Harry and Meghan for a 2.4 million pound renovation for a house that did not even belong to them. Property belonging to the Queen. Not to Harry and Meghan. Property belonging to the Queen. Harry and Meghan were bullied for it to the point that they had to pay back the money just to stop the bullying. They wanted the details of her home because they paid for it. Took pictures of her home and bedroom as if she was on show for public consumption. You know, Prince Harry and Meghan currently have the privacy that they both desire. They were denied in the UK because the taxpayer apparently, according to UK tabloids, which means the UK tabloids basically, they say they have a right to their private life. They want to know what they were doing, they said. And when they offered to continue to work without public funding and have a clear line between their private life and public work, Prince Harry and Meghan were denied. Now, Prince Harry and Meghan currently now live a private life. They already have it right now as we speak. I am saying this. I am saying this because Meghan can actually go 105 days without being seen and doesn't owe any person, any single person, an explanation for it. She can have give birth to baby girl little bit Diana without being demanded for pictures of her daughter. She can do that now. She has that right. She has a private life where she doesn't have to put up with UK tabloids demanding to have pictures of her as she's giving birth to her baby daughter or experiencing maternal pains. She doesn't have to put up with that anymore. She can go on Ellen DeGeneres or New York Times and still talk about the things she cares about. She is now a private citizen and a public figure. Now, What baffles me and even makes me upset is the fact that Megan eating at a restaurant 
bothers a bunch of racists. When Meghan isn't seen at the Super Bowl attending alongside Prince Harry, when they see Princess Eugenie and not Meghan, they complain. When apparently Prince Harry and Meghan don't issue a Hey Camilla, future queen consort, congratulations on being named the future queen consort by the queen. When that doesn't happen, when Meghan and Harry don't issue a statement to that effect, they also complain. But nobody ever seemed to care. The people saying this never seemed to care when Meghan was being abused and Prince Harry. 72 members of parliament, more than 70 members of parliament, actually issued a statement condemning colonial and racist undertones. When British tabloids were reporting and talking about Meghan every single day, they condemned the harassment of Meghan and the vilification of Meghan. While Prince Harry's extended family, the Queen, Prince Charles, Prince William, all kept their mouth shut while Meghan was being abused. Not, no single racist ever came out to ask, why are the Queen, Charles and William quiet? Not a single person ever came to that effect. Yet, they've always expected Meghan and Harry to do, to do the impossible, to do every single thing. The bar is set so high for Prince Harry and Meghan. So, so high. Prince Harry and Meghan are the bar, basically. For, the, for UK tabloids, for the racists, they are the bar. They're expected to do things like, hey, issue a statement of congratulations towards Camilla. Congratulate Camilla for being named the future queen consort. But not a single person expects any more of the royal family to stand up when Meghan is being abused every single day. When Prince Harry is basically fighting to have security for his wife and child if and when they visit the UK. Not a single person is asking the queen, Prince Charles, Prince William to step, to step in. Why? Why? They have so much high expectations for Prince Harry and Meghan. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm saying that it's a good thing that they have high expectations for Prince Harry and Meghan. But it's also a bit hypocritical that, to be honest with you, they have zero expectations from the likes of Prince William, Prince Charles, or the Queen, because they expect so low from them. When it's work, they expect low. From Prince William. They expect actually nothing from Prince William and Kate Milton. But when it's Megan, they want a movie being released in three months. They want a podcast to be released in less than six months. Immediately after they sign the deal, they want a podcast. The bar they've set for Prince Harry and Megan is so high. Yet every single day we hear talks of them calling Prince Harry and Megan irrelevant. Yet they can't control themselves but talk about Harry and Megan. Every single day, the people they claim that they hate. If that's the case, then if Megan staying at home bothers you, if Megan basically living her life quietly at home with her children bothers you, if not seeing Megan bothers you, when you see her, you also complain bothers you, then what truly bothers you is her existence. That's what bothers you, apparently. And that, to me, is very, very clear. That what bothers you is Megan's existence. Now, listen up and listen very, very well. To all those races targeting Megan, I've seen a bunch of trolls coming on to my comment section. I've seen them. And I've done my duty. I've reported them. But I know nothing much will happen. Because if hate accounts targeting Megan can make up to $3 million targeting her, and even after they've been reported for violating rules, or that even these social media sites have set for themselves, and yet nothing happens to them, then clearly, even the trolls trolling Megan in my comment section that I've seen them popping up, even they, I know that nothing will happen to them. However, I'll still do it. I'll still report because those are the rules and I'll keep doing it. And one thing I want to tell them is this, is that 
Megan is not your slave. Megan, that is also sex, is not your slave. We don't longer live in an age where you can force Megan to take to show pictures for you or turn up whenever you want to see her. No. Megan doesn't have to put up with that anymore. And she left the royal family. She is not your slave for you to tell her that she needs to go through the back door. She is not your slave. Megan is not your slave. The age of slavery is over. Megan is not your slave. Megan is the mother of two beautiful children, Archie and Lil Diana. She is the wife of Prince Harry, whether they like it or not. That's who she is. She is a woman that can now go out whenever she feels like she doesn't have to hide or sit next to the kitchen not to be seen for a bunch of races to be happy. No. Megan is a free woman living in a free country. No matter how much racism there currently exists in the US or Europe or mostly the UK, no matter how much it exists, I want to tell you one thing. The age of slavery is over. It's over. And stop treating Megan like your slave. Megan is not your slave. Megan is a free woman. The royal family, Megan is not your scapegoat. She is not. She is not your scapegoat. I'm not going to sit back, relax, and watch as you continue to bully and abuse Megan. We are not going to put up with that. We won't allow it. We are not going to permit it. And I'm glad that Harry and Meghan left this place called the royal family. And to be honest with you, the media and the trolls are very, very much confusing. They want Meghan Markle to live the life of a hermit. But then also counting days, every single day we've heard stories about where is Meghan Marco? Where is she? Counting the days that she's not been seen, even publishing articles such as Meghan Markle dubbed the Invincible Duchess after allegedly going missing for 104 days. And when they see her through a paparazzi picture, they also complain. Oh, why did she go through the back door? There's always a back door. Meghan is not your slave. You cannot dictate to her what to do with her life. She is not. She's a free woman living in a free country. You cannot dictate to her. You don't pay her bills. You don't pay her taxpayer money. You don't pay for her security. You even denied Prince Harry the right to pay for his own security to protect his wife and child and children, Archie and Libby Diana. You denied that. You don't do anything. The only thing that this racist dude is that they just continue to complain and complain and whine and complain every single day, targeting Prince Harry and Meghan. Every single day. So when she's not been seen, they also complain. They make up a watch of the days, the number of days they haven't seen Meghan. Like, what do you want? Meghan is here to stay. She's not going anywhere. No weapon formed against Meghan shall ever Prosper. And to me, it's I'm very happy to see Prince Harry and Meghan happy. Having so much fun with Eugenie and Jack Brooksbank. It brings me great, great joy. Evil, evil, the evil of the UK tablets, the farm, it did not work. They wanted to dim her light. They wanted her husband to abandon her and leave his biracial children alone. To come back to following William around like a scapegoat. Prince Charles, we are seeing right now in the Cash for Honor scandal, trying to use Harry as his personal scapegoat. Good thing is that the fact that Prince Harry had emails and released them, saying that he had warned Charles about working with Mahfouz on the Cash for Honor scandal. Prince Charles, a failed husband, failed father, wanted to use Prince Harry as his scapegoat. His current house courtiers wanted the same, to cover for Prince Charles. And no, 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 we don't live in that age or era anymore. Because to me, it looks like apparently they want Megan to dim her light and never even go out for dinner with her husband and family friends. Because 
When she does, it takes a non-existent spotlight away from the other so-called white royals back in the UK. Now, who is going to tell these people that Megan lives in California, California, Montecito, California, Montecito, not the UK. Megan does not live in the UK anymore. Stop treating her like a slave that needs to be catched. She is not. She is not. And it makes me sick, to be honest with you. It makes me sick to see how they've treated Megan. It makes me sick. It makes me sick. Why not focus on the likes of Kate Middleton? Why not just do that? Why? Why, fo why not focus on the person you claim that you love? Why not focus on her? Why do you constantly turn your attention towards a woman you say you hate? Why? Isn't it healthier to focus on the woman you claim you love, the Cape Milton's that you've said that you love, and leave Megan in peace? Isn't it much, much easier to focus on the woman you claim to love? But no, they don't even care about Cape Milton. They're writing articles that Megan is upstaging Cape Milton. A paparazzi picture by a tabloid owned by Rupert Murdoch. TMZ is now owned by Rupert Murdoch, by the way. That they're complaining, oh look, why couldn't they have used the back door? Megan and Harry are not slaves. For you to tell them and direct them what to do, like use the back door. They're not slaves. Not as they thieves. They're not like that. That's not who they are. They are free people living in a free country. They, they will enjoy their life and be happy in the US. And I'm glad to see them happy. I love seeing those pictures. To be honest with you. Aside from the fact that I do not I don't like the fact that a Rupert Murdoch tabloid took a paparazzi picture of Harry and Megan. But I like seeing them happy. It brings me joy that they're having fun. No weapons that have been formed against Prince Harry and Meghan have been able to prosper. Not a single one. And to that end, I am glad about it. Now, only a Rupert Murdoch-owned media house, that is TMZ. First, it was page six. Now TMZ, that goes to look for paparazzi picture of Megan after spending weeks asking where is Megan. Now listen, I'm sure that they had this picture. I'm sure of it. I mean, they did say that they took the picture of them on the weekend, on a weekend. They didn't specify which weekend, but they said they took a picture of them on a weekend. Then they released them a few hours ago. Now, why did they release them a few hours ago? Because they normally have a goal. They have a goal. They have a goal. They've always been, you know, this competition, a non-existent competition that UK tabloids like to love. As Megan said in the Oprah interview, the tabloids, they want a hero and villain kind of, kind of narrative. They've chosen the black woman as the villain, as expected. That's the systemic racism that we have to face every single day as black people as black, brown people, or mixed-race people. They've chosen the black woman as the for the evil narrative and the white woman for the good narrative. That's what they've chosen. Now, apparently, even the Danish media, now that Kate Milton is apparently in Denmark, is already pissed at Kenston Palace and Kate Milton. And it's only day one of the visit. And do you know why they are pissed? Now, this is why they are pissed. Now, apparently, what happened was that the British Embassy, kindly allow me to talk about this, kindly allow me to talk about this, show the reason why these paparazzi pictures were released today. Now, apparently, the British Embassy warned the Danish press not to ask the Duchess of Cambridge questions about Prince Andrew. And they warned them and said this, if you try, you will lose your position. Those are warnings from the British Embassy. But apparently, we've had stories that the royal family couldn't do anything for Meghan 
There's nothing they could do for Megan. Nothing. Nothing. If an entire British embassy can warn, can send a warning to another country, a foreign country's press, not to ask the Duchess of Cambridge questions about Prince Andrew, telling them, if you do, you will lose your position, then do you honestly believe the royal family's arguments and words? And even UK tablets backing it up, the royal family couldn't do much for Meghan. To, from, for Meghan, when UK tablets were harassing her every single day and bullying and abusing her. They couldn't do anything because they were the ones doing it. And that's why Meghan said that the firm, plus the UK tablets, have been actively perpetuating falsehoods against her in the Oprah interview. That's what Megan said. Now, apparently, listen, there is completely different tradition in Denmark for the press talk to the royal family. Now, Crown Princess Mary, for instance, is the best in showing up for short interviews when she's at work. The Crown Princess often wisely uses the opportunity to come out with her message. In England, the royal family rarely speaks to journalists. It is relevant to ask the question when TRH will visit a Danish organization that works to create equality between the sexes and which help women in crisis. Here, the UK can learn something from Denmark. In Denmark, they let journalists ask what they want. This is what is called press freedom. One of the most important elements of a modern democracy that apparently UK can never really understand. Now, there is, this is no criticism on Catherine, apparently. In November, someone was able to experience the relationship between the royal family and their press pool live. Someone called Kristen Z on Twitter said this. Now, she said that Her Majesty Queen Margaret was relaxed and if there was a tricky one or one which didn't fit in that moment, she politely said she prefers not to answer. It always has to be about the organization that they visit. But you shouldn't come to another country and ban the local press from asking uncomfortable questions. I think in the UK, it will improve this situation and the communication between the two parties. Do you see that? Do you see that family? Do you see that? Do you hear that? Those words from Christine. In the UK, the British Embassy has threatened, threatened journalists in Denmark by telling them, if you mention a single word about Prince Andrew, you will lose your position. That's what they said, yet they tell you that, hey, look, the royal family could not do much about for Megan. They couldn't. We already know from Prince Harry, the royal family told Megan there was no money for Megan, that Megan should go back to acting. But apparently, look, they welcome Megan. Those are the lies that have been told by the royal family that some people have been told to eat it up. And it's just wrong. It's just really, really wrong. And it makes me sick, to be honest. It makes me sick. And I just won't, I won't stand for it. I won't stand for it. Not one bit of it. I won't stand for it. Now, Prince Harry and Meghan are two influential people. They are very, very influential. Every single thing that they say, it becomes breaking news. Everything. For instance, when Harry and Meghan went to New York during the New York trip, lots of press were waiting at one World Observatory for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex who were in NYC visiting. Harry and Meghan were with the NYC mayor and Governor Kathy Hochul in New York. But when Prince William and Kate Milton are visiting, some of the press don't even care because they just have a small number, a very, very small number of them waiting because even they don't even care about what Kate Milton is doing. I mean, take a look up about this, basically. Like, for instance, Kate Milton is on a tour to Denmark. Do you know what UK tablets are caring about? Is what Megan was doing out and about in 
California, peacefully living her life next to her husband Harry and Prince Harry's cousin Eugenie and Eugenie's husband Jack Bruce Bank. That's their main focus today. They're saying that, hey, look, Meghan is upstaging Kate Milton. Seriously, even Kate Milton's own fans, they don't care about Kate Milton. They formed hate channels targeting Meghan. They don't even care about Kate Milton herself. When they talk about Kate Milton and Prince William, they get the lowest ever views. Their own fans don't care about Kate Milton and Prince William. They're more focused on inciting hate towards Prince Harry and Meghan than they are of talking about Kate Milton and Prince William. And that's the situation. That's the situation. And for Kate Milton, what I'd like to say this, and to the UK tablets as well, and this so-called racist targeting Meghan, Listen, Kate Milton cannot compete where she does not compare. Meghan is the most influential royal. She's the most popular royal. And those are facts. And what people love about her is her heart. No matter how many times you try to take her down, she'll continue rising up and up. Because you've tried that for a long time and still you fail and you'll continue to fail because Meghan will keep flying higher and higher. That's what's going to happen. And that's what I'm going to say about it. I'm happy to see Megan happy. I'm happy that they stepped out for dinner with their cousin, Eugenie, Prince Harry's cousin, Eugenie and Jack Bruce Bank. And clearly they were having a great time. Jack was seeing gesturing to which Megan and Harry were both laughing. And I loved seeing that. I love seeing that. I'm happy to know that they are happy. Despite the constant bullying abuse they face, I'm happy to see that they are happy. And if that makes the races sad, then I'm also happy to be honest with you. I'm happy because no matter what they do, they will never ever be able to break Megan, that is of Sussex. Never. Hope you enjoyed this podcast. Kindly like, subscribe, and support our ever growing family on YouTube. Kindly hit that like and subscribe button for daily and consistent content. Keyword daily and consistent. With so much love, stay tuned to our next video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Love you, family. Thank you.